so it was a raining outside. Um, I have to go put the baby chicks up. But also, welcome to Yellow Door Urban Homestead. I am Asian. and I'm an urban gardener girl in a small space in my backyard. So it's raining and tonight we're going to be inside because that's what happens sometimes. But a few people ask about uh, the quail. And so I'm going to talk a little bit about the quail. Um, and then you know what else I'm gonna do? I had asked for suggestions about what I should put in the bricks. And so I think I've come up with what I'm going to do. So we're gonna sow those seeds tonight. I have figured out that um, at this point, I'm not going to be able to start seeds out in the greenhouse because I don't go over to the greenhouse every day, which I definitely could because I know there's seeds over there, right? But also, once I get them to germinate, I probably will put them outside because that Vivor hose reel, it reaches all the way to the greenhouse, y'all. I was so excited about that. <laughs> stopped raining it was very rainy out here but that's a good thing for my garden because you know rain and sun water and sun that's what makes your stuff grow so we're gonna go ahead and put the baby chicks away i think it's probably like i don't really know what time it is i'm thinking it's like maybe around 7 30 ish i didn't bring my phone out here with me um so we're gonna go ahead and put them up because i put them in the coop and then the big girls they sleep on the roost in the run area. So we're gonna go ahead, put the babies up. I had them out with the big girls um, earlier today. Actually, we've been doing it all week. We might've started Saturday. I think we started Saturday when I did my vlog on Saturday, um, my video on Saturday. Um, and so they're getting acquainted. The big girls absolutely hate they despise when the babies start to like fly around and stuff but the babies have been in a dog crate all day so, so they want to stretch their wings out but the big girls absolutely hate it the other thing is the big girls understand that you don't get up here they know that now um, they will get on the quail coop they will get on top of the dog crate on top of the cans but they know that you don't get up here now the babies don't know that yet so I stay out here with them for a good portion of the time because yeah, they'll jump up on the quail coop and up here. Um, and the girls used to do it on the fence. They used to, to roost on the fence, but they've learned that you don't do that anymore. Um, one was even on top of the coop and I was like, what are y'all doing? <laughs> it's like having kids. Let's see how having, having kids, no joke. All right, let's put the chickens away. Right there. Here goes the one little lady. So the garden is looking full and magnificent this evening, but it's a little chilly out here. Look at the sweet potatoes, y'all. They look so good. Everything is looking really good. I'm excited. Just a quick little pan so everybody can see what's going on out here. My cute little sunflowers finally trying to grow. Excited about that. Got flowers on our beans. All the little cherry tomatoes are looking good. The garden is looking good. The potatoes are still going. We got some coloration changes, so maybe soon. I'm watching people <laughs> do their potatoes and I'm like, I wanna do mine. See, we got some color changes. Got all kinds of peppers coming in. Swiss chard is looking really good. I'm so glad I planted that. I like Swiss chard. So the beans aren't as yellow. They're getting green, but you can see the difference, see? So, the beans over here is just looking amazing. Onions still going. The beans that we planted together looking good. On both sides looking good. So 
so we're gonna go in the house now like I said I'm gonna tell you what I decided to start I'm also going to talk about the quail a little bit a few people ask um, and so if there are people who are interested in um, you know growing their own meat in the urban area I want to be able to help them I think I'm gonna put some lights up up here. So give me a minute and then we're gonna start talking about the quail and then I'm gonna tell you what I picked. We're gonna maybe sew it together. I don't know, maybe we will. You know what, maybe we'll sew them together and I'll answer some of the questions um, that you all have asked over the past few weeks because did y'all see I got through like a hundred and like, I don't know, 40 some comments this week. I was I was working every free moment I had like if I was sitting around I was answering comments uh, so I don't know how much longer that's gonna last though I don't want to tell y'all it's gonna last forever but I appreciate every comment that y'all leave I absolutely read every one of them but I don't know about uh, you know responding all the time to everyone and I know people say we don't care if you respond or not I just feel like I should before we get into all of that I'm gonna go ahead and get dinner started so y'all go ahead get y'all dinner started <laughs> I'm sure you'll be watching this at like 10 or 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> but anyway, get your dinner started. I'm going to get my dinner started. And then we're going to get back, back to that. Also, it's 7.20. So I'm about 30 minutes. I'm sorry. I'm about 10 minutes early from putting them away. I normally put them away around 7.30. Having salmon and shrimp tonight for dinner. <laughs> Okay, now that that is done, we are back down in the laundry room. I did not put any lights up because I just did not. But I would try to make sure I'm in a good light when I'm talking to you all. I did open that. <laughs> there they are. All 20 of them. So if you remember, we hatched out, we had 50 eggs total. We hatched out 33 quail and then 20 survived so less than 50 percent survival more than 50 percent hatched so just so you know <laughs> all right let's grab one come here lady so i am pretty sure she's a lady and i will show you the difference do you see the spots on her chest she is a lady hey girl hi lady <laughs> So you have a male, not many spots, pretty tan, male, female. I hope y'all can see that, but you can tell if it's a male or a female from the females have spots, the males have just kind of a plain tan chest. So females, dark spots, male, kind of plain tan chest. <laughs> they were fighting against me. So, the breed of quails that I have is Egyptian Jumbo, um, and their feathers are more wild. So, if you remember my quail from before, I had Coturnix. I do believe the Egyptians are also Coturnix, they just have different feathers. Um, but I had a Coturnix uh, breed, and their feathers were very slick. They look very pretty um, and, and like shiny. This breed has wild feathers, um, but still, I do believe they are Coturnix. I feed my quail twice a day. Um, I feed them a Perina brand game bird feed. It is 30% protein. Um, I feed them twice a day, so there's 20 of them. I have two food containers. Huh, this is a bad spot to sit at. <laughs> I do recycle though. Um, okay, so I have two food containers in there. I noticed that when I only had one as they got older that they would like pow onto it. And so I was like, hmm, seems like if I'm only feeding them one time a day and every time I feed them they're piling up on it, they probably need more food. So now I have two containers of food. Um, they do not pile up. They eat as the day goes on. So I just think that feeding them twice a day with 20 of them, um, that that's a good thing. So. I feed them twice a day. Um, there's only one waterer in there, but I change their water twice a day as well. When they are six weeks, I will put them outside. I have to figure out what I'm going to do with the one that is outside because I can't put the new ones in with the old one because one of two things is going to happen. They're going to gang up on the new one and fight her 
or she's much bigger than them so she's gonna gang up on them and fight them so have to decide what I'm going to do with her Quails start laying around six to eight weeks. Um, I think when we had our first group of quail outside, they started laying more around six than eight. Um, but, you know, that's a very quick turnaround time considering <laughs> chickens don't start laying until I think they're like 12 weeks. So you got to wait for what, like three months for a chicken to start laying. Quail, you can start getting uh, eggs at, you know, one and a half, two months. So that's one good thing about having quail. They are small. And so if I did not have a coop outside, I could absolutely continue to raise them inside of the home for what I want to raise them for, which is meat and eggs. Um, and so if I'm only keeping six and we end up with 20, then I can call the, the, the rest, wait for eggs, hatch them, and just kind of keep that cycle going. Um, but it takes about... 18 17 18 days for quail to hatch so that's also pretty quick because i think i've never hatched chickens i think chickens take around like 21 days to hatch something like that um so quail are just much quicker in general now they are a smaller animal but if you are living in a uh urban area quail is a good source of meat and eggs so uh for me i have actually started to eat quail eggs more than I eat chicken eggs. I'm not a yolk person, so there's so much yolk in a chicken egg and it's not that much yolk in a quail egg. And so actually, I guess it's just smaller. <laughs> but I eat quail eggs more than I eat chicken eggs. Now, I really use chicken eggs just for cooking, not so much for eating um, for me, unless I'm making a devil egg or something and then I'm gonna do that. But a boiled egg, like you can do five to 10 quail eggs um, and you can get two boil eggs from a chicken. I know you're like, what? But that's what I do and I absolutely love them. Like I was giving them away because they weren't fertilized because our male got out. Um, and, and now I'm not doing that anymore because I really enjoy eating them. I will share them. Once I have more, once the new quail start to lay, then I'll start sharing them again. But for right now, I'm keeping them because I think they are delicious. Okay, so that's what I know about quail. Hope it was helpful. I am newer at raising quail. Um, I did some research, but if you are not new here, you know that sometimes I just jump into things, just like the chickens. Also, it is about that time to close them up. They should be asleep. Well, not asleep, but they should be in the chicken run area. So let's go check them. Plus, my dinner is done, y'all. Dinner. But let's go check on the chickens first. And then, there she goes. You say, hey, girl. Hey, <laughs> She's on the phone with her friend. Okay, let's go put the chickens away. They all do seem to be in the run area, so this should be quick and easy. But they do put themselves away, so that's a plus. I'm hoping that the baby chicks, from going in the coop as babies, I'm hoping that's where they put themselves away at. Um, and then we won't have any disagreements about the roost. There is space on the roost for more chickens. I don't know if it's space for four more. But I think because they kind of clean their bodies up, cinch their bodies up, um, that it'll probably work just fine. But in case it doesn't, what I was saying is I hope that the babies learn to go into the coop since that's where we've been putting them and they don't you know want to stay out on the roost with the other girls okay so it rained today and my coop has settled so enjoy me trying to get my coop unsettled so that the door will close It wasn't nearly as bad as it is sometimes after it rains. Um, so, that's it for the animals tonight. Oh wow, I think a piece of my neighbor's tree fell. I don't know what it fell on. Made a big thump though. Um, yeah, so that's not nearly as hard a disease. Other nights, look at it y'all. It looks so pretty out here. 
It's not nearly as hard as it is other nights <laughs> when it has rained a lot and it's settled. Um, that's my little urban homestead chores for the night. Um, putting the chickens away, making sure uh, the quail are fed, and if it wasn't raining, I would have done much more out in the garden, but this is kind of a rainy day, day in the life, in the evening, <laughs> a quick one. So, all right, I'm gonna eat, and then we're gonna talk about the seeds that, that I'm gonna plant. What I'm planning to grow in the bricks once I pull the onions out. I'm sure you're wondering, like, why are you eating by yourself? And why did you only cook two pieces of salmon? You're probably not thinking it, but in case you were. My daughter does not like salmon, um, and so she, ate egg rolls I think so she had egg rolls for dinner and me and my son will enjoy this delicious plate of food I cannot wait we have salmon broccoli fried shrimp and roasted carrots from the garden mm, very sweet I successfully eat carrots we lost the remote. I didn't lose anything. Somebody lost the remote to the uh, fire stick. I have to use my phone. Mm. So delicious. I love the crunchy skin on salmon. Okay, so what did I decide to plant? So, I'm not going to plant them tonight. It is 8.50, I need to do a little bit of work and um, I don't feel like it, we'll do it another day. Um, but what did I decide to plant? I am going to do teddy bear sunflowers because we know I did not have good luck with my teddy bear sunflowers, but I want them so bad. So I'm gonna do teddy bear sunflowers I am going to put more beans because beans are the things that I want a lot of this year. And so that space where I can grow beans. Um, I'm also going to do chives. I don't have chives in my garden at all right now. If I am correct, I think they are perennial. I really don't want to do a lot of perennial things in it because I lose the space to plant the onions or garlic next year um i was thinking about radish and turnips and rutabaga thing is in my area i am pretty sure that they will bulk quickly so maybe in the fall that's what i'll do um and so i'm also going to do some more nasturtiums because y'all know how much i love nasturtiums and um i feel like they would be so pretty kind of falling off the side of the bed so i'm thinking like chives at the end of each bed and then my daughter is really screaming Hamilton right now, y'all. Hold on. Mama! And I think she has her headphones on. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> she shut her door. <laughs> so I'm thinking chives um, at each end. I'm thinking a teddy bear sunflower because that's going to be a little bit, you know, wide. And then I'm thinking... Um, well, I guess it's going to be wide. And then if you put nasturtiums by it, I'm doing it. It's all going to be bushy. <laughs> so, so chives and maybe even some spring onions. I might just throw some onion seeds in some of them too, just to break it up. So like chives, I know y'all like what, but I'm literally planning this on this video with y'all. So I'm thinking one brick chive, one brick teddy bear sunflower, the next brick spring onions then the next brick nasturtium and then the next brick spring onions because I don't want too much perennial and then the next brick beans what do y'all think like that's what I'm thinking I want a lot of beans it's extra space for beans I don't have chives I don't have spring onions and I have really loved the onion powder that I made and so I can make more onion powder um, because it didn't make a lot I feel like that's a great idea tell me in the comments if you're still here I think this is gonna be kind of a short video though um, tell me in the comments what do you think chives sunflower 
onions, nasturtium, onions, beans. And I just keep that going. My onions that is in the holes right now, they've started falling over. So I'm thinking I don't have that much time left on them anyway. They didn't get huge. But let me tell you what. My daughter has been making onion rings with those little tiny onions. And she has been loving them. And she said they're very sweet. I don't eat onions like that. I use them for cooking. So I wouldn't be able to tell you. But she said they're very sweet. And she has been using them to make onion rings. And she's been loving them. Um, so tell me what you think about my plan for the bricks. Um, I am going to start those seeds either... Well, it'll probably be Saturday. Yeah, it'll probably be Saturday. I am going to leave them inside the house at least until they sprout. And then maybe I'll try putting them out in the greenhouse. The greenhouse needs to be clean, though. Like, it really needs to be clean. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to visit me over on Instagram where I post about the things going on in the garden almost every day. Bye, y'all.